And so it was that Atlas Dam was founded some two centuries ago. Indeed, our fair city-state is among the longest standing on the continent of Austera. But there was another city-state with a history as long and proud as our own that came to a tragic ruin only eight short years ago. Now, who can tell me its name? How about you, Therese? <laughs> I, um, I think it was... Now, now. No need to get all flustered. There's no shame in not knowing an answer, so long as you have a desire to learn. The answer is in your textbook. Go on now, look it up. Yes, Professor. Let's see. I believe it was Hornberg. That is correct. Hornberg was ruled over by a royal family, said to be descended from priests of an ancient and long forgotten religion. On the other hand, our fair Atlas Dam was founded by one of the original clans that inhabited the Flatlands. Who can tell me how many clans lived in the Flatlands at the time? Your Highness? 
stories have it that eight clans did live in the flatlands in those days. Correct you are, your highness. It was a time of great strife here in the flatlands as the eight clans waged a long and bitter war. Change would come when the armies of Grandport invaded these lands some two centuries ago. At the time, the rulers of Grandport sought to exert their influence over territories inland. Ironically, this compelled the warring tribes to put aside their differences and unite against their common foe. Oh, but look at the time. Uh, we'll pick up where we left off next time. Don't forget to read chapters 3 and 4 before our next lecture. And be prepared to answer questions on any of the material within. Yes, Professor. Thank you for another most stimulating lecture, Professor Albright. Hello? Splendid! The truth of the matter is... But of course! Mm-hmm! Pleasure. Why, thank you. Indeed.
Ah, Therese. Yes, do you have a question for me? It's me, Cyrus. <laughs> mm hmm. I see. With pleasure. Many thanks. What have we here? An interesting dilemma. Professor Albright! <sighs> hmm? The truth is... I see. Many thanks. Cyrus Albright, by your request, sir. Do enter. My apologies for summoning you on such short notice. How might I be of assistance, Headmaster? That treatise on arcane studies you published what in the gods' names were you thinking? Sir? I do believe I made my hypothesis perfectly clear. I'm not talking about your hypothesis. You went out of your way to cite one of the texts in our special archives. The knowledge housed in those tombs is the Royal Academy's greatest treasure. Is not to be divulged to the public at your whim. Laying it bare in one of your silly papers is out of the question. I am fully aware of the value of those tones, Headmaster. It is for that very reason I would share the knowledge with my peers. You are to share nothing! That wisdom is for the Academy and the Academy alone. But that goes against everything... Enough, Cyrus! Even my best argument is sure to fall on deaf ears. The Headmaster sees knowledge as a metal or precious stone. Something to be appreciated by its rightful owner alone. Knowledge is power, and power is to be hoarded. An unfortunate attitude, indeed. My sincere apologies, Headmaster. It won't happen again. Is there anything else you need of me? 
that is all. You may go. Wait, there was one last thing. Sir? I heard the special archives will be closing early today. If you have research to do there, I would do so quickly. It's as if he enjoys watching me suffer. Thank you for your concern, Headmaster. In that case, I'll be on my way. Enter. Uh, excuse me. What's the matter? Hmm. Can I help you? A moment of your time. My apologies. Say it is not so. Actually... A ho! Indeed! I see. Leave it to me. Take care. Time to do some research. Hmm.
Splendid! But of course! Oh ho! Ah, uh, no. Which means that... Yes. Shall we begin? Now then! Battle is truly joined. I will cut you down. Well then, may the sacred flame shine forth. What to do? What is the logical course of action? Oh, flames, rage, rock. Now then! 
I will cut you down! Search on Victory shall be mine. I will cut you down. I'll do my best. May the sacred flame shine forth. An interesting dilemma. Nothing will stop. Battle is true. I'll do my best. I hope I've grown more. Time to teach you 
a lesson. Here I go! Well then, may the sacred flame shine forth! Victory I will cut you down! Thus ends your lesson. Battle is truly joy. Well then, may the sacred flame shine forth. Here I go. Of action. <laughs> Nothing will find the force. How about you? <laughs> With each battle, I grow stronger.
I've done my research on you. What? Excuse me. A moment of your time. <laughs> Come now. The truth is... to reason.
What next? What to do? The winds of hope are howling! No! Just so. Say it is not so.
actually. I see. Yes. Awesome, miss. Professor Albright, as asked, sir. Good. Enter. Thank you, Lucia. Yes, Headmaster. What can I do for you? <clears throat> Something tells me he's not about to offer a commendation. Professor Albright, a most troubling report has reached my ears. A report, sir? An anonymous source claims that you have abused your prestigious position to enter into an illicit relationship with Her Highness the Princess. And you believe this report, sir? If it is untrue, then say so. Why, it is unfounded, unsubstantiated, balderdash of the highest order! I would like to take your words at face value, Professor, but I fear the situation is not so simple. A rumor regarding the royal family, even an unsubstantiated one such as this, is sure to spread quickly. If we do not take swift action, Princess Mary's good name could be forever sunk. That is something that simply cannot be allowed to happen. Surely you understand. And so what do you intend to do with me, sir? It is not an easy decision to make. Dismissing you outright would be tantamount to an admission of guilt. If I may be so bold, Headmaster, what about a sabbatical? Professor Albright has put on extended leave, while official accounts state that he's doing fieldwork in a distant land. What say you, Cyrus? This way, both the Academy's reputation and your own will remain intact. My reputation? Do we have a problem, Professor? Not at all, Headmaster. On the contrary, this might prove the perfect opportunity. Opportunity? For what? As a matter of fact, there is a matter which has piqued my interest of late. I was just wondering when I might find the time to do a bit of research in the field. I think I will set forth on a journey. 
in search of an ancient tome that disappeared 15 years ago. Besides, if I am not permitted to share what I have learned with my peers and the public, there is little point in continuing my research here. Is that so? Do tell, Professor. What is it that you intend to investigate? As regards a certain tome. Now, if you will forgive me, I must begin packing for my journey. Good day to you, Headmaster. An enigma as ever, that one. Hmm. Professor! Oh, Therese, what is it? I... I heard that you were leaving the Academy. Then you heard true. P professor I'm I'm so sorry. I see. So you were the source of the rumor. You you knew? Not until just this moment when you apologized. And yet I cannot fathom your motive. Why would you tell such a terrible lie? You're always helping Her Highness, answering her every question. I just wanted you to pay more attention to me. And that's why you went to the Headmaster. Yes, but I... I just wanted to get you in a little trouble. I didn't think they would. I am so sorry, Professor. Can you ever forgive me? Worry not, my dear. It just so happens that I was looking for a good excuse to go on a journey. You were? For some time now, I've wanted to travel the realm and see what can be learned beyond these halls. I dare say the timing couldn't have been better. You see, there's a certain matter I simply can't wait to investigate. So fret not, my girl. If anything, you've done me a favor. Besides, I am not entirely without fault in the matter. Indeed, I have not been as attentive to you as I should. Had I realized your true intention sooner, I would not be in this position. Professor, whatever do you... If only I had realized how devoted you were to your studies, my dear girl. My studies? I have always striven to treat all my students equally. And yet, Her Highness is always eager to ask questions, and I was all too eager to answer them. In doing so, I may have given the impression that I favored her above you and others. This was not my intention, but I am at fault all the same. If only I had seen you for the ardent and devoted young scholar that you are! <sighs> um, Professor... Perhaps you're not quite as sharp as I thought you were. Yes? <sighs> Never mind. In that case, I should be off. Pray do not shirk your studies, my girl. Yes, Professor. Will... will I ever see you again? I do not see why not. Provided we both still live. Find 
find out all I can about you from the far reaches of hell. My erstwhile colleague of debt knows more about arcane studies than anyone I know. Last I heard, she sojourned in Quarry Quest. I should begin my journey there. Do my perfect prepare yourself! May the 
sacred flame shine forth! I'll do my best! Let your wounds be healed. Here I go! For you! The battle is truly joined. <laughs> oh, I see some food. That's an interesting dynamic. How about that? With each battle, I grow stronger. Battle is truly joy. Well then. <laughs> <laughs> 